Hello. Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Hi, good. Good. Hi, Katie. <laughs> it's Laura and Sarah from Company Team Fast from Company Magazine, and we're here doing our denim clinic today. Thank so, you for having me. <laughs> Katie along from WGSN, and she's going to be helping to answer some top tips today. So, Katie, do you want to tell us a little bit about how you got started? Yeah, sure. So I don't know if how you got into it. Yeah, definitely. So basically, I don't know if people know much about WGSN, but it's a huge um, global trend forecasting company, and I work on denim there. So a lot of about what we do is um, looking at street fashion, looking at future trends, and sort of really tracking um, the process of trends through. Um, and I started off as a designer, so I did uh, jeans design um, for a few different like high street brands, and then got a super lucky break, and now have probably everybody's dream job, I'd like to say. But um, yeah, it involves. Yeah, we actually. might have the dream job. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, maybe you guys. But um, yeah, it's a lot of travel, a lot of research, a lot of street shots. Um, sort of really like looking at what people are doing with like how they're styling their denim, and like really trying to find what's looking like new and different, and um, and sort of really tracking that through into into commercial fashion. So amazing, because yeah. we're all here because we actually absolutely love denim. So well, I do. I denim live, nerds. Actually, I'm not really wearing denim today, so that's a bit. <laughs> Bit of a lie. Right <laughs> Normally I would be in it. But, um, I guess we've got some questions from readers that have tweeted in. Yeah, sure. So, um, I, I could start with. Do you want to? Well, as I was gonna say, one um, from our Twitter, the one that's come up probably the most, is about double denim, and everyone's asking how to wear it. When's it, is it okay? Is it ever acceptable to wear double denim? And we. It's so okay. Is it okay? Is it okay? Is yes. It <laughs> do it. I'm like. Triple denim, quadruple denim, totally, it's fine. I think it really depends on how you do it. Like, I, I don't know. It, if you really want to make a statement and you want to do like matching a matching set, brilliant. Like that's sort of one of my top tips for for next summer. Um, you could do white denim jacket, white denim jeans. Like that would be quite a statement look. But if you want to do something a bit more commercial, I would say maybe go for like a mini Yeah. Say that again. Different tones of denim. Yeah, different I think tonal's really nice, like mixing up the tone. So like a normal sort of mid-blue jean with a chambray shirt, that's probably got to be the easiest way to do it. And that is so all right. I think as well, proportion is quite important. So you don't want to have like oversized and oversized in denim and denim. That's probably, again, quite a statement look, like maybe more of a 90s thing if you're going to do stonewash or like head to toe. But if you're going to do a slim fit or a skinny with a chambray shirt, Maybe a denim jacket, triple, holy trinity of denim, but Brilliant. Yeah, we know totally yeah, and we know that 90s is a massive trend for kind of now at the moment, so yeah. taking us from Christmas to spring summer, so what would be your kind of five top tips, I guess, from now until next spring? Next spring, top tips. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, obviously, the skinny is absolutely massive now. You sort of can't go wrong with the skinny. But I think we're really going to start to see the boyfriend coming into its own for next spring, summer, and even like beyond. I think it's just going to grow and grow and grow. Like yeah, already. Do, yeah, sorry, because we've all started to wear it here, haven't we? Yeah, we love it. We've kind of taken it on a little bit, but you're seeing it going a little bit further, so there's going to be different kind of going to different lengths. lengths. Yeah, I mean, there's already sort of like quite a wide spectrum of fit under the sort of boyfriend fit umbrella like you've got a slim boyfriend my personal favorite which is like a very wide but cropped that's probably like the more directional edge of the boyfriend which is sort of like definitely a tip for next autumn winter um black blue white distressed i think it's sort of all go like yeah get involved with the boyfriend and also like don't be like scared and think that it's going to swamp you like maybe if you're more of a petite shape like there's one for everybody and i think mm -hmm. the the slimmer versions are really, really flattering, especially if you're going to dress up with heels. It can be a really feminine item, and we're definitely seeing that coming through for next year and beyond. Brilliant. Another thing we thought about, well, for next season, I noticed that white is a lot on the catwalks and everything. Next season, yeah. white denim is really, really big. But, I mean, for me personally, I'm a bit petrified to be wearing a white pair of... <laughs> yeah, it's quite a look. How, how else can you kind of, I don't know, get involved in this trend? 
Well, I think white, I mean, yeah, white's definitely something that's on our radar for next summer. Um, I think there's easy ways, again, and then there's sort of like real statement ways. Um, an easy way would be to go for like a slim boyfriend, maybe with some damage, so it's quite natural looking, a bit laundered, rolled up with some pumps or some commas. Like, I really think that's probably, and also a jacket, swap your like indigo denim jacket for a white denim jacket. If you want to do something a little bit more edgy perhaps, you could do like a white skinny maybe with a polo neck, some sort of 90s vibes, or you could do more of a directional sculpted, um, like a, more of a premium level white denim jacket, so something maybe with a drop shoulder line or very cropped. Um, you could even do a white leather coating, so again we've seen that on the catwalks coming through, obviously leather is huge and denim coatings are huge at the minute for skinnies, but I think white as a coating is quite an interesting way, a kind of newer way to do it as well. Yeah, um, actually, actually, yeah sorry, actually I saw kind of, we've been doing Spring Summer 14, we've just started looking at it, but I've seen like a paint effect, I actually saw a paint effect yesterday, is that quite a big thing coming through as well? I think there's a lot of really interesting like different laundry techniques and I think everyone's sort of beginning to sort of become more aware of it, especially mm. as coatings are so commercial now and I think the technology behind coatings is just getting more and more impressive every season. Mills, like the denim mills that we're looking at, are really, really um, pushing the boundaries. Like They're becoming softer, they're stretchier so they won't crack. They're just like, they they don't look, they don't feel like they look basic, so they look like they would be some, something a bit rugged, but actually they're really, really wearable and I think that it's definitely something to watch, yeah. And we're seeing like ombre effects, maybe it's like a, a coated ombre, so it would be more of a, a textured I don't know if that makes sense, but like a textured ombre, so if we have yeah. like a gradient, maybe it's like dipped, a dipped coating is a really nice way to do it as well. So it could be like paint, great thing for customization actually, while we're talking about it. Like we coating. love a bit of customization. Yeah, oh, so do we. Favourite like, subject of ours. Oh really, same, yeah. same here. <laughs> but like if you wanted um, like a cracked effect, but painting, but only painting parts of it, so like obviously we're seeing a lot of um, contrast sleeves at the minute and like a lot of biker looks in that whole like leather category mm. but um, instead of a, a full contrast leather sleeve it could be a, a part coating and that really sort of um, as a detail really sort of elevates core denim it's really nice we like that. We're yeah. talking a lot about sort of the coating and washes and I mean I know like waxed coating is another mm. amazing thing kind of yeah. another look but another question we've had a lot on the Twitter is sort of the yeah. best way to wash denim is that with if there's a specific wax or coat or lining or wash? What what because, is the best way to yeah, wash? Yeah, I always thought it was inside out, yeah. being inside out. I always wash my denim inside out, but I don't know necessarily if that's the right thing to do. So, and I heard this myth: you should only wash your denim three times a year. But I don't know. <laughs> Not like myth. <laughs> um, I think check the label for sure. But if it's got a coating on it, it as a rule, it probably. I mean, obviously, technology is getting better and better, so these things are more like stay fast. But it, the more you wash it, the more likely it is that it will come off. So definitely wash inside out. Personally, I'm not really a dry cleaning fan. I don't want these big bills. I might want a, an expensive gym, but I don't want to be paying for dry cleaning. So I would, I don't know, if it's if it says that you can wash it, maybe just do it inside out anyway on like a low heat. But top tip: if it's a wax coating, what you could do is if if you wash it and you get out and you're like, oh my god, the coating's come off, a uh, tea towel and an iron and just gently press it and it should bring back the coating. It gives it a bit of a sheen as well. It won't look exactly like it was. Um, if you are a bit sort of um, nervous about the whole thing, just dry clean it. But I know you don't want to hear that. And no. the myth about washing <laughs> jeans three times a year, uh, uh, uh. like, really? I think, yeah, for sure, <laughs> really? But I think like, if you've got raw denim, as a rule, yeah. the more you wash it, the more the indigo comes off, so the less it's going to sort of show the natural fade of, of the denim. So as a rule, sort of people who are like super into raw denim would say, I would never wash it or maybe wash it one time a year and I would put it in the bath or put it in the freezer just to kill the bacteria because it's really about sort of maintaining the true indigo on the fabric. But I think what you're talking about and probably the, the company readers are probably talking more about skinny jeans and things which are a bit more fashion and stretch and probably already are washed. A lot of them will be washed anyway, so I think washing's probably fine. But don't complain to me if you're <laughs> 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 We'll send you the dry cleaning yeah. bells. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> 
<laughs> and another, another question we've sort of had is something about washes and the flattering, most flattering fit for a curvier woman and mm. curvier people in general. What what would be your advice for that? Oh, it's such a huge, it's such a huge topic, thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah. I mean, there's something for everybody out there now. There's the the scope of fits is phenomenal. I mean, even just skinny fits you've got I mean there's probably about eight different varieties on the high street now and obviously like the premium denim brands are they're all just playing with all these different fits and I think it really it's, it's so personal I would really yeah. recommend just going and, and trying and doing uh, all, yeah. yeah try on premium try on mid-market try on skinnies I think there's a few brands who are really um, addressing sort of shapes for curvy girls and I think that's something that's really important to talk about because um, a lot of people would just avoid the gene because obviously you've got like back gapage and, oh, and all sorts of crazy things can happen but I think um, if you looked at people like <laughs> don't laugh you know what I'm talking about I'm just imagining what these crazy things are. <laughs> yeah let's not go there but um yeah brands like Levi's and G-Star they and, and, and well kind of everyone now is sort of really looking into it more but Brands that, sorry, not brands, fits that are like engineered for um, for your shape. So yeah. brands that jeans that will um, be smaller at the waist, and then they'll be shaped around the hips, and that kind of thing is really, really flattering for like um, yeah for curves. And I think, and also like all the stretch in in fabrics at the minute. Um, and any particular washes? Because I think I think that was one question. Oh yeah, so if there's a wash washes, at the that would, front. Yeah, the elo again, your legs better. Yeah, or... for sure. I mean, as a rule, I mean, we all probably would say that black would be the most slimming. Uh -huh. Probably a dark yeah. and luckily black and dark and go. They're both like super trending at the minute. Um, but yeah, I mean, you probably would want to if you didn't want to draw attention to your legs, you probably would want to steer clear of like loud acid wash or some heavy bleaching or some sort of I don't know. Yeah, those sort of loud prints. But um, a dark <laughs> indigo raw, something that's a bit more matte, probably nothing that's too shiny, because obviously that's going to yeah, make, well in my opinion, <laughs> every time I've ever tried on some sort of black shiny thing, it, I look like I'm shoved into leather tubing, but that's a different story. Um, <laughs> uh, raw, I would say raw and dark and black and like matte leather looks are brilliant, really slimming, and, and high-waisted as well. I mean, mm. a lot of people would probably steer clear of high-waisted because they'd be like, no, that's never going to fit me, but I think it's really, really flattering. I think as long yeah. as you're Especially an yeah. yeah, for sure. And I think like if you balance it out with a slightly straighter leg, like it could be more of an ankle grazer, skinny, or even a wide leg boyfriend, like they are surprisingly flattering. And I think mm. you've just got mm. to get involved and just really try them on. You have. I think you've just got to spend a day kind of trying on different denims and just yeah. get the right fit for you. Yeah, so I think for sure. yeah. And not be stressed. Yeah. And make, make it Don't fun. Be go out with your friends. Have make, make a day of it. Go out and all do your denim done trying on together. I exactly. think it can be shouldn't be stressful, it should be a chore, it should be fun. Yeah, I kinda hate it though. Like skinny jean <laughs> shopping is a bit of a Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> you asked me about trends for spring summer and I think I completely like just went off on a tangent. Um <laughs> okay, you've done it fine. <laughs> what did we did we cover it? We did boyfriend and we did and we talked a little bit about white and both of those were things that I was going to say for, for, um, that we're really looking at for next summer and also um, customization. Seen. Yes, well exactly. I was embellishment. Say, embellishment we were talking about earlier. Sure, yeah. And um, and things like um, something that me and my boss were absolutely loving at the minute is Raw Edge. Um, there was quite a lot of it on the catwalks recently which just blew our mind. Like We were so like, yes, turn them on the catwalks. But, um, and sorry, what's your favourite designer actually going off on another tangent? Kind of favourite designer? Yeah, uh, designer or denim designer? Denim. Denim. Uh, okay, it changes all the time. <laughs> Mine's a sheesh. I love a sheesh. A sheesh is really cool, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh my god. Arthur's Almeida, another really great one. Yes, love really both of those. Yeah, both of those are definitely um, ones to watch because obviously they're quite new and they're doing really edgy things with not just with proportion but with. With surface, both of those do like great, like great ways of doing customization, but kind of in an easy do it at home way, like mm -hmm. just cutting the sleeves off something, or like really going to town, like hacking something with scissors. But um, yeah, both love both of those. Um, who do I like? Um, Cheat Monday at the minute. Um, I yeah, think Anne says back has just become creative director, so they are definitely. I'm just yeah, I'm loving them. Um, acne, always love acne. Uh, Levi's Made and Crafted always appeal to me. They've got the most beautifully curated um, 
collection and they really draw on like the heritage obviously Levi's are a heritage brand so they've got like this sort of um, they really own their sort of um, their market but I think Made and Crafted do it with a bit more of a fashion spin and the mm. colours are beautiful they have all this really saturated indigo um, they always just look really pucker in my opinion yeah, I can't I'm, my brain is gone I'm sure there's like a so I'm going to ask you another question now okay go. on the spot sorry um, so if you could live what is your one piece of denim that you couldn't live without or that I, that I already have yeah and then that you now want as well so one that you can't oh. live without and one that you actually really really want and can't have yet okay one that I can't live without jumpsuit slash yeah, jumpsuit I agree with you on that oh, oh my yeah. goodness like yeah. every single day it's the easiest Okay, it's another one of those things which I think people would probably be a little bit put off because it's it's jumpsuit, it's like full on, but actually yeah. it's something that we're seeing becoming more and more popular. It's like yeah. Pintle Festival must have for next year. So I mean, easy to wear as well, isn't it? So easy to wear. You don't need to think about anything yeah, else. You just put it on. It's coming. A little bit tricky to go to the toilet though. But yeah, that's the only festivals. thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, then yeah. I'm loving the boiler seat that you're rocking right now yeah. as well. Katie. We love that. That's cool. Yeah, this is this one's a pretty good one. But I think this sort of flight suit detailing, brilliant for next summer, and like especially in like all these lightweight denims, like tensile denims and chambres. Um, Made in Heaven actually have one in so I saw it selfridges like a week ago. It's so nice. Have you seen it? It's got copper zips. Maybe. Yeah. Um. Okay, so that was can't live without. Oh, and dungarees. Can't live without my dungarees. Oh, dungarees. Um. Again, and yeah, I mean, there's some really great versions on the high street. So get involved with those. Um. And what are your fave kind of high street brands that you would probably rock? Who yeah. denim who's for the good alternatives from, you know... Because obviously designer denim can be quite expensive, so I tend to... Uh, well, I get my jeans from Topshop quite a lot. And I love, I mean, I love J brand, but I can't afford them. But the Urban Outfit is BDG for the most amazing alternative. Amazing, oh, yeah. really good skinny. Good uh, tip. Great, really great. So what... What, well, who do you recommend? Maybe who does really good denim pieces, not just jeans as well. You know, amazing, cool, key denim jackets as well. Yeah. Well, on the high street, I don't think you can beat, in my opinion, Topshop for their. Is it Jamie and Lee? Those two are like. Oh, yeah, I love Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so great. I mean, yeah. they've got a coated one at the minute. Um, it's basically it's so similar to the Citizens of Humanity one. It's insane. It's really beautiful and it's. Yeah, it's it's totally a must have. Um, Zara have totally ticked every trend box at the minute. So if you want a bit of fashion denim, they're they're doing everything. They're doing like um like brocade effects, like textured ones. They're doing the zips. They're doing everything. Yeah. I don't really think about Zara. No, denim. I don't. I kind of overlooked them, but that's true. They've done some. Yeah, yeah, they look really good. And actually, they've got it trended. So you've got like whatever your trend is. So say the trend is like um oh I don't know a biker. Um, they've got the jeans that would go with that, and then so you pick your jeans, and then you've got your jacket and whatever, and then they've got them all in different sections, so it's actually really easy to shop in there. I thought they looked really good. Um, mm. Other brands, uh, yeah, I obviously I think Cheap Monday are definitely one to watch. Um, Cheap Monday have got this really awesome um, high waisted boyfriend. Sort of what I was talking about a minute ago with mm. um, the boyfriend shapes to watch out for for next year. So high waisted and wide leg and cropped. So it's a bit of a nineties feel, um, but really wearable. Um, so they've got one and Top Shop's mom jean. Um, also nineties throwback mom. Oh, we do. Oh, actually, I was going to ask you earlier. What are your new brands to watch? Because I know we were kind of discussing that a little bit earlier, but we've kind of gone past that. But we've we've heard of a new one called Frame. Yeah. James Jean. There's a bit of a buzz about your Frame. ones to watch and why. Yeah, for sure. Um, frame, you mentioned Frame, I was going to yeah. say, definitely, there's definitely a bit of a hype around them at the minute. I think they, what they're doing is they're doing this thing where um, they have a super, super long inseam. I think it's like 40 inches or something. Wow. And then you get it, then you can get it taken up to the exact length you want it. So it's absolutely brilliant if you're a little bit taller or, I don't know, you, I, mean, I mean, how phenomenal is that? They will take it up for you. It's brilliant. Um, and there's another brand, uh, I think they're from New York, called R13, um, which is rocking this whole like tomboy thing. It's a little bit grungy, it's a little bit dark, but it's, it looks really, the way they've done it just looks really premium. I think instead of it just being about oversized shapes and like baggy boyfriend fits, they've, it really feels considered, so it's it feels more engineered, so it's it's it looks deliberate is what I'm trying to say. So like the yeah. shoulders deliberately dropped. So it's not, it is flattering basically, it's not just... 
thrown on or, or thrift store. So it's a bit yeah. more sort of androgynous, this sort of androgynous yeah, friend, sure. boyfriend. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Um, what else am I watching? Uh, oh gosh, I can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> <But she's laughs> I mean, one, one thing that I mean, at company we love and all our readers love is customization. We kind of touched on that earlier. Yeah. So one thing I've noticed a lot, street style denim particularly, is oh. this kind of bit of a trend for patches and badges. Is this a thing that you think is just going to carry on? Yes. Yeah, we're loving that it's, uh, in the office. Um, we've really seen that start to come through a lot in street style. Obviously, part of what we do is we really analyze um, street style globally. So we're not just looking at certain places, but we're looking at as like the spectrum of what's going on in Tokyo, what's going on in LA and everywhere. And across the board, it really seems like um, this sort of patching. And also, not just applied, I, I mean, when you say this, do you mean sort of like um, like colorful applied patches? Because we're, yes, well, we're seeing that. Even sure. I've seen like cool kids who had literally sort of one like Disney character patches or you know, like brownie and scout badges. And yeah, yeah, yeah on to like denim jackets and jeans with eggs. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're definitely seeing that. I think that's actually a really nice way that people can get involved with customization that looks a little bit more, a little bit more considered. So it's not like a punk, writ, distressed um, kind of thing, it, and it's not like spray paint or whatever. But it actually feels a little bit more premium. If you were going to do customize and you wanted it to look a little bit more, I don't know if you wanted to dress it up, but to get hold of some patches would be super easy. eBay, top tip, eBay, vintage, anything. eBay. Get on eBay, um, type in vintage patches, um, and yeah, go for it. But um, what was I going to say? Yes, um, patches, yeah. Um, tonal blocking and like uh, not just like completely different types of patches, but also like denim patching. We're seeing a lot of that coming through in street style. Um, and it's it's starting to filter through onto the high street as well. And like brands are getting involved with it. Like you're seeing like knee patches in a contrast uh, tonal denim shade. Um, but in terms of like repair um, as, a, as a form of customization, I think that's really nice. Like you could really get involved. And anyone can get involved. That's what makes it kind of yeah, it's sure. yeah. a bit fun. Yeah, that's I think it's just about, fun. Isn't it? Yeah, it's this whole sort of thrift store culture that, that's yeah. sort of huge at the minute. And you only need to nip down your local charity shop, pick up two denim jackets and, or jeans in different shades, cut one up, sew sleeves onto the other end or whatever, and it's sort of, you've got this sort of idea. Yeah. The amount wow. of things. What a great way to walk it's a great to job. <laughs> but, um, I think we're going to have to end it there, Katie, but thank, thank you so you much so for much. joining us. I really hope I've helped. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm sure there's loads more questions, but maybe we can answer them kind People of. People can just tweet them and then you yeah, can. Yeah, exactly. We can just do that. Yeah. yeah. Please do still tweet, guys. And obviously, read up more about you know Katie's tips and everything in the January issue of Company out in December. So, uh, yes, buy it. <laughs> yes. Buy it. Bye. See you soon. Bye, Katie. Bye. Bye. <laughs>